Yo, what's going on guys? So, I finally got around to trying out the shotguns in Ghosts. Uh, I must have played about four hours now trying out all the different shotguns. And before I get into which one I think is the best, even though you could see it in the video, uh, <laughs> let me just say, shotguns are not good in this game. Uh, a lot of people messaged me saying how bad they were, and it's true. There's no reason for you to use a shotgun in this game. Now, that's kind of lame because shotguns have always been really fun to use in FPS games. And it's really not the guns being weak, although you're going to encounter a lot of hit markers and whatnot. But it's not about the guns needing a buff. It's about the map design in this game. It doesn't work well if you're using a shotgun. Because when you use a shotgun, you never could kill across the map like a Spass 12 in Modern Warfare 2, you still had to be, you know, at least medium range. And in this game, to get behind the other team is pretty freaking hard. Because if you're trying to make your way around the map, you're going to encounter a vertical spot like a window or a rooftop. Every single map has them, and if you got a shotgun and you're on ground level, you don't have a chance against someone sitting on a roof. And a lot of the maps are designed like that. So that's just how it is in the game. I personally do not recommend using a shotgun. The fun factor is uh, pretty low. It could be fun for moments, but once you kill like three guys and you think you're going to get a quad, you're probably going to get a hit marker. <laughs> no, but it's just it just doesn't make as much sense in this game to use a shotgun as opposed to simply using an assault rifle. Why not kill in two to three bullets up close and kill across the map? You know, why why have to shoot him twice up close with a pump-action shotgun? It's no real point. But I don't mean to whine about it. I'm just making the facts clear, or at least my opinion clear. But the gun that I prefer to use would be the TAC-12. Of course, it doesn't get as many one-shot kills as, like, the FP-6, for example, but the key to this gun is that it has a huge ammo capacity. I use it with uh, extended mags. And when you're stuck with a gun like the FP6, yeah, you could kill in one shot, but you're out of bullets. You get like five shots with that gun. That's a real killer. The semi-auto shotgun's are good too. It's kind of the same story. You you run out of ammo and you have to sit around and reload. That's a big problem. You gotta be always moving. And that's why in this video I'm playing Cranked. I think Cranked works really well with shotguns. Uh, other game modes work too, but... Just for the sake of the class setup in this video, it's purely for Cranked. I wouldn't use this class in Kill Confirmed, for example. Now let's get started on the perks. I got Ready Up, I think that's self-explanatory. Stalker, because I love aiming down sights and strafing. That's a key to my gameplay. Steady Aim, because I find myself shooting from the hip a lot. You have to shoot quickly. I mean... Your reactions have to be top-notch with the shotguns in this game if you plan to win. So I find myself shooting from the hip quite a bit. If I'm not shooting from the hip, that's why I have quick draw on, because you got to aim down sights and fire as soon as possible. And aiming down sights does seem to get a better, uh, like a tighter spread, but I'm not positive. I don't run any tests on this stuff, but it just seems to. Uh, the last perk I got Gambler on, just because it's funny. I like seeing what random perk it gives me. And on the gun itself, I got extended mags and muzzle brake. Not sure about the differences in muzzle brake, but you're very limited in your choices for the gun, so put it on. It can't hurt. And <laughs> this this isn't the best gameplay by any means, but this was just one that I, I got. I slapped on this class, and probably three games in, I got this. And, you know, you don't end up doing that poorly with a shotgun. It, it's just that... You could only do better using an assault rifle. And that's where the fun is kind of taken out of it. Because no one likes to think, oh, I could have done so much better with a different gun. Because every other gun in the game is basically equal. So, shotguns, the verdict for me is that they're just not that good. And mainly due to the maps. You know, I don't care if you make them stronger. You still got to get to the other team. And that takes a lot of patience. A lot of trying to work your way around the outside of the map. So it actually slows down the game. As opposed to slapping on another gun and just, you know, going guns blazing right through the middle. 
the shotgun definitely slows it down a bit and like I said requires patience but eventually once you learn the maps better and all that you'll find your way behind the other team and it does feel good to take down like four guys and four shots that's always awesome but it's a little upsetting that it's not as good as I hoped and who knows maybe with the new map packs it'll get better there's always hope for that so hopefully you enjoyed the video and maybe you'll try out this class in Cranked and if you're gonna play Kill Confirmed I definitely suggest you use Dead Silence and Amplify and that kind of stuff. In Cranked I don't think it matters too much. You're just running around so fast anyway that it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'll see you guys. And this is a factory where we fuck dudes in their asses. <laughs> Factory this... where our tanks are made and dreams are crushed. That's right. This is your we're little control center. And we're making fucked asses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>